What's up, guys? You don't know how excited I am, but I finally got this guy right here, man. So we're going to finally figure out if he's better than Mihawk Six Star Boys. Now, you may be like, oh, they're different levels, Allo. Don't worry, man. I already have that factored into the analysis, boys. So stay tuned to the end for the final conclusion on who's better, guys, Aqua Goku or Mihawk. All right, guys, before we hop into it, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. We're getting a new code unit very soon, boys. I have the code unit hint on the screen. Also, guys, make sure you guys use star code BLAM when buying Robux or Premium. It really, really helps out the channel and is 100% free. All right, guys, let's go over into training mode and let's go figure this out out once and for all also guys i'm glad i waited to make this video because blue goku got a massive buff and this actually does change things quite a bit all right guys so i'm specifically answering this question should you get blue goku and is he enough to replace mihawk is he enough like better all right so we're gonna just skip over to the final upgrades because uh, we don't really care about anything else all right now how we're gonna compare these two is i know they are slightly different in price um but that's that, that really shouldn't matter that much so let's go uh, level them up all the way to max and then we'll perform some tests all right all right so right now we'll put them we'll put them both in the front for now all right and we're gonna go max them both out all right so let's go compare their aoe real quick all right so this is his aoe so pretty big and it's really big at the ends right so keep that in mind now here's blue goku's aoe all right yeah so this versus this all right to be honest it's not a massive difference um unless you're like really really using mihawk to your advantage like honestly like if i'm placing mihawk down i would honestly place mihawk down down back here mainly because you can hit that okay so we're gonna go actually switch it up and we're gonna go place them back here all right so this this is the first comparison now let's take a look at the damage all right so th they are different levels guys so i'll factor that in but look at the damage guys so even though he's a lower level he still has more damage all right so we're definitely giving the, the damage slight edge to him but the question so basically speaking this guy is 100 percent better however the only difference guys is is the aoe worth it all right this this aoe versus this all right that's the, really the only question all right so let's go try it out boys we're gonna go send in a horde of enemies and we're gonna see which one gets the most damage all right all right, let's do it, guys. And at the end, we're going to go give a little bit of a bonus to this guy if it's not close, because obviously this guy, um, uh, let's just say, uh, is a little bit lower level. All right, but not it's not as much as you think, though. So let's go spawn in some enemies. All right, boys, let's go spawn in 100 enemies, and let's see what happens. So we're going to give them, like, three speed. All right, hopefully I don't regret the decision. All right, we're going to go spawn in all 100 enemies, and we're going to go see... Oh, wait, what the heck am I doing? All right, I need a friend for this, guys. I'm, why am I being stupid right now? All right, we have to do this slightly differently, boys. All right, so we're going to go place them in the same exact spot, and we're going to go see which one um, uh, does the most damage. All right, so here we go, guys. So let's go get this Aqua Goku maxed out. All right, he's hitting the entire map, so no worries there, boys. And we're going to spawn in uh, 20 enemies with a ton of HP and three speed, and we're going to see how much damage we get there in the corner. All right, let's do this. All right, so we have a ridiculous amount of HP, so let's go spawn in these enemies with three speed, and we'll spawn in, let's just say, let's spawn in like uh, 20, all right? One, two two three four five six seven eight nine i'll go i think I, this works so let's go all the way up to 20 all right let's go see what he can do boys all right is he gonna be able to take them all out all right all right and let's go have it so like the enemies are kind of like spread out so we'll go all the way up to 40 now and we'll, we'll kind of like spread out the enemies see how he handles that so we'll give me hawk definitely an advantage all right because i know mihawk often has a lot of full a actually you know what um how much is actually gonna die all right we'll see we'll see what happens here boys all right so we have two groups slightly separated we'll see how it handles this and then we'll see how it handles the next one all right so overall okay so it's hitting them a little bit both times in some places oh not bad not bad all right pretty good guys pretty good i mean damage wise decent like 500 million so far on these 20 enemies so i guess some problems i'm seeing with this testing map is oftentimes it misses like a whole freaking group and i'm pretty sure like if we put down mihawk it'll actually do the same so i'm not really as worried about dps i kind of just want to see how mihawk's aoe is affected by this all right yeah, yeah you can see guys mihawk is always hitting like both groups okay yeah so look at this mihawk is really always hitting both groups so that's actually a big advantage so it looks like he's he's more likely to hit multiple enemies right 
Yeah, look at this. So he's more, he's always hitting like this guy's always hitting one group, but this guy Mihawk is always like hitting a, a group and some bonus. All right, like look at this. So now he's hitting both groups. Aqua Goku's only hitting one. All right, so that's the main difference between the two. DPS Aqua Goku has a very very slight advantage. All right, so let's go over to the stats, boys. And we'll get it because again, sorry, this test wasn't like super determinant, but I definitely feel like we got a good idea of like the reason why Mihawk has a little bit of an edge. Now, the question is, how much more DPS does this guy have? So, let me go show you that real quick, boys. All right, I have this thing I call it's called the ASD damage rankings. This little, this little uh, spreadsheet I made. So, let's go examine this. Sorry, guys, if it gets nerdy. All right. So I have lots of different things here, boys. Uh, the main things we're looking at, guys, are going to be the DPS and the DPS per dollar, right? So the DPS per dollar is good because money does matter and sometimes it's hard to max things out. And the DPS also matters. So let's go take a look at this. Let's go take a look at the stats, boys. All right. So let's go take a look at Goku. Uh, actually, let's go move the stats over. So I'm going to go move uh, Mihawk stats over next to Goku Blues. All right, cut and paste. Oh, wait. All right, so I move them right next to each other. So let's go compare the stats. All right, all right. Okay, let me go add commas to this. So you can actually read it. All right, so looking at the starting damage, you're going to notice the two are slightly different. So 1.4 versus 1.0, right? And look at the cost, guys. I'm going to be honest, guys. The cost difference is insignificant. 64,000. Uh, I mean, even if you factor that up to all the units in the game, that's not really like all eight placements. That's only like, that's like half a million. So it's not really that relevant, right? Range wise, this and AOE we already talked about. Okay. So AOE Mioc definitely has a pretty big advantage. All right. So let's go move on to the other stats. All right. So the next stats we have guys are going to be these stats right here. DPS. All right. So DPS, look at this boys, 20, 10% extra DPS. Okay. Granted, he does cost a little bit more, but 10% extra DPS is 10% extra DPS. All right. All right. DPS per dollar. All right. Look at this, guys. 0 0.93 versus 0 0.85. Okay. So this is like a close to around a 10% increase in damage. So 10% more damage, but you're hitting less enemies per hit. All right. DPS per range. Look at this. Well, if range doesn't really matter, guys, because they're both hitting the entire map with like 150, 160. Uh, throwing the blue eye orb throwing everything and here we go guys damage per range per dollar and dps per range doesn't really matter as much so as we can kind of see here boys uh they're pretty much almost identical okay so i think the e the end like summary of this boys is i think should you if you already have mihawk boys i'm gonna be honest i don't even think yeah if you already have mihawk boys i would just say like keep him okay if you don't don't waste your time leveling up goku there's not enough of a difference because his aoe is just so much better as we saw in training mode just so much better there's like no point you know you're gonna get that extra 10 percent dps easily and you're hitting way more enemies per hit okay so i'd say they're pretty much the same i think they could both be used but honestly guys after doing the analysis i think um uh, mihawk might even have the edge guys so I'm going to honestly might even switch up my tune here, boys. We might even say F in the chat for Goku Blue. I think he might be worthless unit, guys. I think Mihawk definitely has the edge. The only edge where I see like Goku Blue being better is damage farming uh, because he's, he's going to be doing about 50% more gems. All right. So that is the only benefit I can see him having. So there you go, guys. That is the end of Goku Blue right there, boys.